I think smartphones have got a really serious problem with viewing distance, and this is the relationship between the size of the screen and the pixel density on that screen. So we know that too much time focusing at near distances is really bad for your eyes. It causes myopia, that then makes you more at risk of all kinds of other horrible illnesses with your eyes that can lead to permanent blindness. And this problem is especially bad for kids, but there's quite a lot of evidence that suggests this is still an issue even as an adult. So smartphones are obviously quite limited in their screen size. When the keyboard comes up, that takes a big chunk out of that as well. So there's this kind of fundamental problem that limits their utility as a serious productivity tool. But of course, they're actually pretty brilliant for consuming media, Instagram and YouTube, as well as the pictures and videos that you take with the camera on the phone itself. The problem with consuming this kind of creative visual media on a small device is that we crave immersion. When you go to a cinema, you're there because you want the screen to occupy a big chunk of your field of vision. So when you're using a tiny screen, you have this tendency to want to hold it as near to your face as possible to increase that immersion. So of course, if you're trying to sell a device for this purpose, what do you do? You're going to make the screen as sharp and as clear as possible by adding more and more pixels into that same space so that it still looks sharp the closer you get to your face. This means for pictures, videos and games, the nearer you hold it to your face, the better your experience is going to be. You get a bigger field of view with no compromise on picture quality. So it's no wonder that the iPhone includes this feature now that warns you if you're holding it too close to your face for too long. And Apple are saying this is mainly for kids, but there is still this research that suggests myopia progression is an issue still for adults. So in 2010, Apple coined the term retina display when they released the iPhone 4. And what that meant was it has a pixel density of 326 pixels per inch. And the idea was at 12 inches away from your face, you couldn't discern the individual pixels. Now a three and a half inch screen 12 inches away from your face is actually a very small unimmersive experience. It's the equivalent to watching a 55 inch TV 15 feet away. So what we've seen from the iPhone 12 onwards is a pixel density of 460 pixels per inch, which means based on the same kind of logic they used for the iPhone 4, you can hold this thing at seven and a half inches away from your face before you can discern those pixels. Seven and a half inches is incredibly close to your face. But if you look at people using phones, it's, it's quite common. You see them, it's just here. You know, people hold their phones that close to their face, especially kids. So if we consider that a max size iPhone in landscape mode has enough horizontal resolution to display display nearly 75% of a full 4K picture, we can kind of see the problem here. So the crazy thing is, if we hold one of these things seven and a half inches away from our face, it's the equivalent field of view of watching a 70 inch TV at a distance of two meters. So on the one hand, this is actually quite impressive. Obviously something that fits in your pocket can give you this amazing immersive experience wherever you are. That is, of course, amazing. But the question is, at what cost? So we know that it takes the ciliary muscles in our eyes two and a half times more effort to focus on something at 12 inches away than to focus on something at 30 inches away. So the idea of focusing at seven and a half inches is just pretty insane. So it's interesting looking at how these things are marketed to us. We're supposed to think of them as pro level productivity tools, yet we can't spend very long on them without doing damage to our eyes. And yet they're still charging as much for these as they are for an iPad or a computer. So I'm not saying smartphones don't have any utility they clearly do. It's just that I think the utility they do have, they've actually had for years already. And this trend for making them as immersive as possible with these ultra high resolution screens is actually only making us use them far more than is healthy for our eyes. So it's a question of how we balance these devices in our life, you know, with all the different sizes and the different viewing distances. The phone that we hold the closest should be the thing we use the least. And the bigger screens like our TVs and our computer screens should be the things we use the most. So for consuming things like YouTube and media, a TV and a lounge is perfect and for real productive work obviously our computer screens are pretty good as well i'm also curious to know your thoughts on this whole smartphone screen viewing distance issue you know do you think smartphones are going too far they're pushing things too far considering the inherent limitation that we shouldn't be using them this close to our face let me know in the comments below if you've enjoyed this video you'll enjoy this one where i look in detail at my home computer setup where i actually use a 55 inch tv screen as my computer display there's actually loads to consider when you're using a tv screen as a computer to display and I've gone into all the details in that video so I'll see you there.